I think in general play tonight, we were very strong defensively. Uh, there's a couple of set pieces that we we go back and we pick the game of death, and I think we'll look at it and think they could have scored a couple of goals from set pieces. So uh, we've, we've been hard done by sometimes. I think tonight we get out of jail a little bit because they could have scored a couple of goals from set plays, but it's not getting away from the fact that in general the group was very good tonight. You've talked about playing with courage all year long, and uh, another game didn't really call for it early in the game, but late when it's 2 1, still playing out of the back, still being responsible for the ball. What were your thoughts for the way the team handled it late? Yeah, it's, it's the way we ask them to play. They're going to they're gonna try to play out the back if it's if it's the right thing to do. We're not going to be crazy and they press five against us and we'll try it if it's wrong. So the decision making is what's going to make them footballers or not, and they made very good decisions tonight. Uh, Tyler Ruffin's experience at the back really helped. Obviously, Kratz come into the game, his experience was excellent, and Big Vasquez come on up top, and you could see that he is pushing himself uh, to, to good things. I think his performance was a very mature performance. His quality on the ball was good, movement was good. Uh, he gets fouled for one of the goals as well. So I think positive all round tonight on a number of aspects. What about your forwards and your midfielders? Conway now, three goals in a row. Uh, Bienvenue's been giving you a lot of goals. Talk about those two guys and just the interaction and just pushing forward more and getting some scoring chances. I think uh, earlier in the season we weren't getting some of the breaks in front of goal, but I think when you've got a player like Luis Fernando who puts in a delivery like he did, uh, strikers are going to live off that sort of thing. So Jackson's in the right place and he's composed and he finishes it really well. So... Goal last week, goal this week. I'm sure he's going to be happy to build on that and look to do more again next week against Hartford. Two out of three wins out of the past three matches. What's been the turnaround for the team just from that long losing streak that you had you know, early in the summer? Uh, it's hard to put your finger on. Obviously, we're, sc we're scoring goals, which is going to help you win games. It's, uh, we're a little bit tighter at the back. We're scoring goals. It looks like there's a belief there. Uh, I think the hunger's always been there. I've never questioned that, maybe once or twice, but... I think in general the spirit's great in the, in the group. We managed to kind of rest a few tonight that have been playing a lot with the assistance that we had from the first team boys. Obviously we've still got academy help at the minute as well and those boys are pushing themselves. So the competition for places, there's not a case that the guys are going to train and they're definitely going to play. You have to train well every day to have an opportunity to play and then when you get the jersey you've got to try and keep it. And I think there's a lot of players trying to do that tonight and a lot that probably did. And how is it, again, guys like Kratz and uh, Bello and, and even Andrew, guys who are first teamers, interacting with a lot of your academy guys like keep bringing up, does that just help bring the elevation of the play, having the veterans with these young guys and even Tyler, who's been professional for a long time? Yeah, it's just it's the culture at the club. It's uh, one club mentality, if you like, that everybody's in it together. Uh, I don't care if they're first team academy, under 12, whatever. When they come and play for us, they play for us. The rules are the rules. We work the way that we work. Uh, and if you don't put the effort in, you ain't going to play. So they all know it, they all respect it, and I think they, they've felt it earlier in the season potentially that if there's little issues here and there that people don't do what's expected of them, it's not a guarantee that you play for this team. So we're here to service the first team. Uh, the guys that came along to help us tonight were fantastic, and hopefully we get a little bit more of them as they fight their way back to fitness, and I'm sure they'll see the benefits of what this team does for the team and the club. And lastly, for me, Tyler talked about having these this last half of the season be important, staying in a playoff race and having relevant matches. And he said you specifically talked to the team about that. What was that message uh, to the squad about this back end of the year? It, it, it's almost a motivational method, message that I don't know if I have to do it or not because I think that the motivation's in there and we do, Henry, myself and the staff, we drive them every day. Uh, but do you want to play meaningless games towards the end of the season? They're never meaningless, but in terms of league positions. Or do you want to be in a playoff race if we can sneak in the playoffs 9th, 10th? I'm not sure there's many teams would like us to come to their place and play us in the playoffs. So that's the aim. I'm trying to put that into the group. Can we, can we fight our way to the end of the season and make it into those playoffs? At least the last five, six games can it still be alive. And then let's see what we got. Chance to go and play some games where it's win or you're out. I think the guys would fancy it. And I'm not sure that a lot of teams would like to see... Atlanta United sneaking in at number 10, so let's, let's see what happens. It feels like every week we see Lawrence White take up a new responsibility, even if it's in the same position, just taking up a new role. You talk about just him just doing whatever he's asked of him every time out. Yeah, he's been good. He's obviously, it's his first year as a professional. You could see him physically. He's taken a bit of a batter because he's playing a lot. So it's different from his college days. It's obviously more demanding. Uh, he trains here and there with the first team because the first team guys like what they see and he does well when he goes there, which is another aspect of 
what we do for the first team, the, the boys go and help their training and it helps them be successful. So Lawrence has been good. Uh, he's, he's playing against good players, good pros, regardless of their age. I think tonight, Swope Park are a good team, well coached. They, they've got a lot of respect for their coaching staff. They've been very good. Uh, we're a young team, similar situation to myself. And they, they do a fantastic job over there and they make it demanding for other teams, like what we do every week. And guys like Lawrence like uh, benefit from that. Yeah, last for me. Um, you talk about guys like Tubbs and um, you know Matthews getting time this year. Will Riley. They still look like they make a couple mistakes out on the field. Can you talk about just the difference in the mistakes you see early in their pro career versus the mistakes later, where they're trying to make something happen? I think some of it's the environment they're in. Uh, they're not playing against 17, 16 year old kids anymore, or some of them are, but there's there's a group of men against them at the same time. So the, the demands are different. But I would say that our, our players are standing up to all the demands that are getting thrown at them. They're making mistakes that we're kind of expecting, but those mistakes won't continue. I know that with the players that we've got, they're learning, they're getting better every day, and they'll continue to do that under both the academy and ourselves.